Hello, you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing. Collective, thank you guys for being here with me. You guys are everything. Y'all the truth, you hear me? Thank you guys for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, and all that good stuff. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And we're going to get right into this message, okay? Okay, message. Held in high honor. Okay. You know your story. Don't pick it up if it's not for you, collective. Something's changing in the distant horizon. Yeah. Somebody's changed. Is that a distance from you? They've been enlightened. What they been enlightened about? Oh. Okay. They've been enlightened about a lover. They're lover in some type of group and they're walking away from them. Somebody's okay, so a lover was in despair here. Okay, we got uh poverty. We got marriage. We got main male, main female too as well. And then we got imprisonment. Bad health. Message of concern and occupation on the bottom of the deck. Okay, somebody's uh, concerned about somebody's occupation. It could be a lover that they were like blinded to what this lover was doing. This lover was in some type of group organization. Take it how it resonates. But somebody's like trying to leave a marriage. Yeah, because this main male could feel like this main female here is creating some type of blockages. Yeah, and this energy is like a negative toxic energy. And somebody's laying something to rest. This main female could have been causing some type of stagnation to somebody's journey, destiny, or something like that. I'm getting something about a uh, duck. Yeah, she'll do anything to be popular or he. Take it how it resonates. But something is, something is coming to an end. Because somebody's laying something to rest. Somebody's head is on the chopping block. Yeah, they said it's over. Somebody said they sold their soul for fame. What? Yeah, somebody could have tried to, they wanted to sell their soul for fame. Yeah, they do anything to be popular. Somebody think, somebody's a duck here. Yeah, uh, I'm getting, somebody's sick of yourself. Somebody's sick of somebody or they sick of themselves, honey. Take it how it resonates. Well, somebody, I'm hearing diamonds and pearls. Uh, what is that? Uh, Prince, diamonds and pearls. And cocoa. Somebody just want diamonds, pearls. Cocoa Chanel is what I'm getting. Yeah, something like that. Somebody's in like a fake love because they, a fake love situation because they know somebody just want fame, fortune. Wealth, stability off of them or something like that. Well, somebody's head is on the chopping block. Because somebody could have uh, been blinded to what this lover was doing. This lover been doing like uh, like extreme love spells. Been trying to manifest extreme things. Um, they, they want extreme beauty or something too as well. I'm getting like something about... She could be beautiful. Very much so beautiful. Take it how it resonates, but... She do a lot of negative, dark-ass shit unbeknownst to this lover. This lover didn't know that. This lover is in despair. This lover married this person, but this person, they could have grew up in a parvish community here, but they were on their journey here to becoming, you know, like married into wealth or in a relationship with somebody that was wealthy so they could, like, take care of them is what I'm getting. And somebody could be figuring this out that there's no love there. This person just won't fame fortune. And they will sell their soul for anything to get it. Somebody takes a lot of pictures. Somebody could have also found a picture in somebody's phone. Okay, this mature man. Yeah, and they put this female in this spell here. Was this was somebody from their past? Yeah, somebody could even be wanting to end something. Because somebody not getting no unexpected income no more. Yeah, somebody's walking away. They ended something here. Yeah, it ended giving somebody all their fortune. Yeah, because something changed here. Because they got a message that somebody's just using them. Somebody could have saw a picture of someone in someone's phone or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Okay, this privileged lady. 
saw a picture that somebody's phone, so she wanted to cause some type of chaos to a main female that this man wanted to walk towards. But all she thinking about is her will. So she caused, she was being childish here and did some type of spell on this emperor, a glamour spell. So he wouldn't see the other female as a privileged lady or, you know, beautiful or whatever. But mm -hmm. somebody's walking away from that so-called privileged lady because she caused a lot of chaos if she not getting money. Yeah, she been dreaming about money since she was a child, honey. She had a... I don't know if somebody's mom is gone or a toxic relationship with a mom or something like that. Or she's holding a grudge against her mom. So she worked hard to get her official person or a wealthy man or an official lover that was wealthy so she could be privileged here. Yeah, he could be finding this out. See, the broken clocks. I'm hearing Keisha Cole, uh, love. Somebody plays a lot of games. Somebody could play Fortnite. Somebody's just childish when it comes to money. Somebody want to be privileged. So they done got like an altar worker to do like these extreme spells here. Or they got an altar. And now they wanted some type of great fortune here. But they not getting that. Something about that great fortune is coming to an end. This mess could be leaving. Somebody could be losing a job. Or somebody just walking away from somebody. They don't want to be somebody's duck no more. You hear me? Yeah, somebody's realizing that this man female is toxic. A bad situation here. I mean, one, two, three, four. Yeah, they're walking away. They don't want to deal with that shit. Yeah, somebody, um, she could be an imposter. I don't know. She could be blocking him from his privileged lady. His, his real divine feminine is what I'm getting. Because she wants the good life. You hear me? Let me see. What's the secret? Give me a secret. Give me one, please. You are trying, secretly trying to cause a setback in somebody's life from a natural healer here. Your friend is spreading lies and rumors about you, making shit up. So this could be like uh, somebody from your past. This could be a friend of yours, but they were like a false friend. Yeah, they had a hidden agenda. Because they just really wanted somebody that, to take care of them. But this masculine, they want a real family that's, or a real person that truly loves them. And they, they're realizing this main female's hidden agenda and they're trying to heal. They're coming towards you for some type of healing too as well. Somebody's trying to cause a setback from this, from you guys healing your relationship. Yeah, like I said, this could be a false friend from your past, from your childhood or something. Um, They always look at you as privileged or... You know, you you had the finer things in life, and this in this okay, this is an energy vampire. They've been harvesting off of your energy, yeah, because they want a family that that really take care of them. Is what I'm getting. But whoever this masculine is, they want a true family that really loves them, or a feminine, or take it however they or masculine. Yeah, they want to establish their relationship, or whatever remains of it. They want to go to you because they realize that you're there true counterpart something about your it's a vibe your vibe is positive it's a vibe all the time somebody watching you somebody secretly wishing you some type of bodily harm they know this mess and they're watching you trying to come towards you but somebody i mean somebody's a realist or somebody's being being a realist that person who's accepting the situation for what it is and you're prepared to deal with something accordingly? That could be you. Your energy, take it how it resonates. Somebody, you know I got superpowers. I'll never ghost you. Who's saying they got superpowers? I'll never ghost you. They feel like you got superpowers. You'll never ghost this person. Message of concern. Somebody's not concerned about you walking away. Or putting them in despair. That's why they want to come towards you. This is my male. Yeah, they want you to be their main female. They want to, uh. Somebody is all in their head about this. It could be a blockage, though. Somebody was working to block it or delay this. This master wants to court you. They could want to marry you. They want to work something out with you. They want to be committed to you. They want to get on this journey with you. 
Yeah, because somebody realized you had you guys had some type of soul mission together. But somebody was trying to block it. Okay, Mr. Man. Oh, girl fight. Okay. The imp look, didn't I tell you the imposter creeping and watching? Wow, well, look, the thief. The cock blocker. I'm interested. Dirty offer. Wow. Who was that? I told you somebody think something in somebody's phone. Somebody got some screenshots of you. They found some type of proof that this person is still infatuated with you or still talking with you, still conversing, still checking up on you. So this person, they, they started an argument. This impersonator that wants to be you, acts like you, dress like you, look like you, copying your style. They creeping. They've been watching you. This is an energy vampire. Somebody is coming to the light or coming to the conclusion that the person that they've been dealing with is an impersonator. And they just want to be famous. You hear me? They just want to look good on the outside. And that they don't. This person been competing with you, rage war against you since y'all were younger is what I'm getting. So this thief most definitely robs you of your energy, your essence, your physical beauty, your emotional, um, your emotional essence or something when it comes to this mask and orphan. Let's take it out resonate. She was trying to block this from happening. Yeah. She could have even offered something or petition somebody or contract to somebody to make this masculine uninterested in you to block this masculine from seeing you or wanting you or talking to you or whatever so she can rob you of your energy your essence your destiny your life take it how it resonates this is a happiness hater i'm telling you they mad because this masculine is into you like i said you got good bad positive bad y'all got good chemistry like it's always good you know when this person was with you or whatever yeah but somebody like uh uh, let me get that jackpot. They want us that jackpot. This person feel like they hit the jackpot when they were with you, but this in person they feel like they hit the jackpot when they uh, made this petition or this offer or did this out to work on you to block this man from coming towards you. Yeah, somebody's all in their head here, stressed out because they head on the chopping block. You hear me? They made. Yeah, overanalyzing the situation, trying to figure out how can they make this right. But I'm getting like the time is the time, the lesson, whatever. It, it, it's over and done with. Yeah, whoever, somebody's fake smiling, somebody's face um, kissing ass. Because they just want gifts. They want got diamonds, gold, shit like that, gifts. Yeah, this person is toxic as hell. They got bad habits. And they all in your business, collective. Stalking and watching you. Trying to force things onto somebody because they want something to go that way. Yeah. This person, they forced this masculine to take care of them is what I'm getting. Because they did some type of magic on this person. Or manipulation. Take it how it resonates with y'all. Mm -hmm. Somebody's sick of that self, though. Somebody's sick of that person trying to manifest like extreme things or extreme beauty, doing beauty spells. They doing too much. Somebody realized that they were manipulated. Mm -hmm. Somebody feel like a duck. Duck, 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 goose. You hear me? <laughs> Who feel like a duck? We got a cancer, a Leo. Okay, yeah, because somebody just wanted luck, fortune, fame. They wanted to grow and expand. Look, like on the internet or some shit. Uh, Aquarius, they want to win and do anything to win at all costs. You hear me? We got Scorpio. We got a Taurus here. So somebody could be a Cancer, Leo, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio. Need two more. Virgo. Yeah, something's changing. Somebody is unstable. You hear me? Somebody's wealth is turned upside down. Their life is turned upside down because they were competing with you. Mad. If somebody's passionate about you, yeah, Saturn. Somebody was trying to limit something or block something. Uh, 
yeah, cause some type of limitation. Something about the lesson, too. Like I said, they didn't learn the lesson, and Saturn came out again. Somebody could be going through a Saturn return. Yeah, somebody was trying to offer somebody something to keep them in a, in a cycle or give them something. Somebody's offerings and all that is being limited now, too, as well. Yeah. Somebody was being real strategic when it came to that money. They were doing a lot of shit in the dark. Lying. Uranus energy. Yeah, something is changing, though. Something. And somebody's made. Because they ain't been exposed. Anybody else want to come out? Pisces. Got Pisces on the... Um, I mean, sun on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, because somebody's life is fake as hell. And their true identity has been exposed. Yeah. Mercury. Yeah. Something somebody said came to fruition or woke somebody up or something. So somebody could be a Pisces, a Virgo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Capricorn, Aquarius, a Leo, or a Cancer. Something about your, your, your sister and your friend. I'm getting girlfriends. That TV show, I'm going to say my girlfriends. My girlfriends, I don't know. They could be girlfriends, your sister, your friend. A cousin, somebody could, okay, a two friends and a sister. Take it how it resonates with you. They were working together to keep this masculine away from you. This could be, they could be friends of your sister or a friend of a friend. Take it how it resonates, but they were all working together is what I'm getting to keep you guys apart. Doing shit on purpose. Yeah, somebody had the candles, light them up, anybody could get it. Yeah, doing rituals on you and shit. To make somebody unimpressed. Wow. We got water. In the next week or two. What's going on in the next week or two? I told you somebody head on the chocolate block. Or well, somebody's coming towards you in the next week or two. Take it how it resonates. Somebody the 17th could be significant. Somebody's trying to confuse somebody. Make something unclear. Yeah, so somebody will be unimpressed. Yeah, but y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till the next week or two. After the storm, the sun will shine again. They desperately wanted you to be conflicted. Who wanted you to be conflicted? Yeah, but you're immortal here. Like I said, somebody, you got superpowers, you'll never go somebody. They know that. Yeah, they always speaking on you with their spiritually broke ass. Didn't I say your cousin? Something about your cousin or your brother, they could have slept with your person or your sister or your friend. Take it how it resonates. Capricorn energy. Something about your public image, your career, your profession. Um, it's something or so your ambition associated to your father too as well. Somebody could was supposed to uh, coach you and find your place in the world. This could be any family member or mentor. Capricorn, that's that toxic devil energy. Something about five years ago, you got the job. Somebody's losing their job. They're all in on it. Money was the motive. I'm telling you, somebody just wanted money a lot. It could be a lot of money here, honey. I don't know. Somebody did not want you to look deeper and figure this out. That they were just using you for money. Yeah, somebody's frustrated with themselves and their lives. Like I said, somebody's sick of themselves. Yeah, because you healed and they didn't complete their mission. Yeah. Addictions were coming between the relationship. Yeah, somebody's addicted to money, fame, fortune, shit like that. This major drama queen was paid to com commit a crime or they paid somebody to commit a crime and they act in the park just to get what they want. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Somebody's emotionally unavailable. Like, they... Didn't I say they were, like, messing with your emotions, trying to block your emotions too as well, collective? Me and that moon energy, domino effect. Y'all kiss my ass. Emotionally unavailable. It's in reverse. You're not emotionally unavailable. This person is not either. That you guys are available. And that's the reason why this shit is falling down. Yeah, and somebody is bonded or binded to whatever they did 25 years ago. Like I said, this is a childhood friend. They did some type of bindage spell 
binding themselves to you to steal your energy, your essence. Yeah, because they didn't want to see you happy. Like I said, they were obsessed with trying to be a divine feminine because they seen that in you. When you were younger, you may, you probably didn't. But yeah, with a real divine feminine or the real divine masculine, please stand up. And I'm getting like you the real deal and they seeing that. Yeah, you could have switched up your look collective. You looking different. Now these people need to chill the fuck out. You switched up your look. Somebody, okay, so they were doing beauty spells, grandma spells, wanted you to, you know, look unappealing to the eye. Yeah, your job, your responsibilities, your work habit. It could be a Virgo. Virgo came out. Um, something about your health. They could have been messing with your health, your diet. Um, something about your spiritual practice, too, as well. Somebody was doing a lot of spiritual causing a lot of spiritual warfare to you but you're you are a natural healer you you got some type of natural remedies to detox and your ability to cope in the face of adversity they trying to figure out how to fuck because they did something tremendously you hit me on a great scale they did a lot that shit is backfiring though yeah let's try to cause a train wreck in your life you hear me but that shit is backfiring you're not going off the rails you have to take your destiny too I think everybody's lying. They are. <laughs> Everybody who's connected here. You hear me? Somebody was lying about their connection with this person too as well. Everybody's lying about your connection with a Virgo, a Pisces, a Taurus, uh, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn. Capricorn came out twice. Yeah, something was set in stone for you guys here. And things will get better collective. So just keep going. Somebody was trying to form some type of attachments to block you guys from getting this union. But that shit is backfired. All those attachments have been um removed, is what I'm getting. Yeah, we got hard shock work here. Somebody was just jealous. They wanted you to self doubt yourself. Somebody got a low immune system. Somebody got an immune immune system disease. Heart, lungs, problems, low libido, low blood pressure, difficulty breathing, high blood pressure. Yeah, that's in reverse. Somebody was working on your heart. Mm-hmm. Somebody was work, doing a lot of heart chakra work, crown chakra. Yeah. Because they wouldn't feel missing out on the good life, on fame and fortune and shit. You hear me? Your money, your life, your destiny, you hear me? Your good fortune, your luck. I did a lot. That's on here for the days. Damn, we got child services here. Look, somebody was being creative here. Trying to steal your ideas. They were copying your words, trying to duplicate you, feeding off of you, so they could have your romantic lover here. Mm -hmm. So they can have your romantic life. This person need to take care of their damn child. This person could have child services uh, issues, kids at risk of being taken, or is about to reporting something, neglect, abuse. Like I said, they could have went through this in childhood, is what I'm getting. Yeah. They were abusing their power. They were doing love spells. You too busy women. And people lying, making shit up because that ego is hurt. And that ego was getting in the way of the relationship. Yeah. And you are shining. You hear me? Your light irritates these people's demons here. While they fake flexing, acting rich, flossing, worried about money. You hear me? Acting fancy, showing off of shit. The one she put a green on, yeah. And you moving on. You hear me? You moving on. And you moving in silence. And they ask me to go bankrupt. Yeah, because all that living good, it's over. Living good off your energy anyway, collective. Oh, it's just trying to slide off. Yeah, they haunted by the memories of you. I'm telling you, they haunted by their past life traumas and flashbacks and having side effects and all that shit from that magic. Yeah, they need to heal them childhood issues, them traumas. They need to go within and be true and authentic with themselves. You hear me? 
and stay out of your energy and get in their own damn energy. Fix their own energy. Your energy that bad, you got to go into somebody else's energy. You need to fix yourself, most definitely. Yeah. Somebody somebody don't have a, a twin flame or a soulmate mission this lifetime because of the past issues they did in their past life and that shit done trickled over in this lifetime. That's the reason why they so obsessed with your destiny and your life collective because them is fucking karmics. And they don't know how to heal. They still, like I said, they ain't learned the lesson. And they didn't complete the mission of taking what was yours this lifetime. So somebody is secretly in bankrupt here, fake flexing, acting like they shining. But that's all your energy collective. That's not even them. Yeah, you retrieve your power. And you remove these cords is what I'm getting. These karmic attachments. Cleanse your energy collective, most definitely. Your light irritates their demons, but guess what? They're like a mob to a flame. They so fucking attracted to you, and they know this person is, too. Mm-hmm. Somebody need to go take care of their damn kids. Somebody try to play Fortnite a lot. Or somebody plays Fortnite. I could say Fort Life. Somebody plays with somebody's life. They're playing a lot of games. A lot of games. Somebody needs to go heal their heart chakra. Somebody got a heavy ass heart. And that heart is under fucking judgment. Whoever this is, your heart is being weighed 42 times. What is something about 42? Somebody could be 42. Somebody could be 43, 44. Somebody's 42. Mm. A 42 is significant. Lighting up candles and shit. Talking about anybody can get it. Yeah, that shit backfiring on your ass. What's 42? Let's see. Let me look up 42 right quick, y'all. And then we're going to get up out of here. 42. Somebody could have recently turned 42. Okay. Um, 42 is everything, the meaning of life. Forty-two is a sign of encouragement that all your hard work and dedication will be fully rewarded, and abundance and success and wealth is coming your way, collective. Pursue your passion and your life purpose. When you do things you love, you put your heart. Wait, man, let me see. What's the twin flame? A sign that you and your twin are meant to be together, even if you're currently separated or going through a rough patch. Like I said, somebody, this is your twin. They know that. But they were trying to keep this person away from you. Your twin could be in Pisces, a Virgo, a Taurus, a Scorpio, Capricorn, Aquarius, Cancer, or Leo. Or you could be one of those signs. Take it how it resonates. And they also sent some fake twins to you, too, as well. But you, you, you can feel it. You can feel who's fake and who, who, who is not. And then somebody's like, um, you know, like I said, duck, duck, goose, you better pick them out. You hear me? But, uh, I'm getting, somebody's going to be a fire sign. I don't know why I want to say fire sign. Let's see. Which one the twin? We're going to peek. We're going to see right quick. Who the twin? Who is the twin for the collective? Just picking the ones that came out. Okay, we're gonna see who come out. Okay, we're gonna get my mom. Who is the twin? Who is the twin? Damn, one we'll come out. So I gotta leave this one is out, y'all. Let's see. Who is the twin? A Capricorn and a Virgo. Capricorn and Virgo. We got Tyrus. Who's the twin? Tyrus and the Pisces. And who's the twin? We got uh, a Leo and Jupiter. Yeah, I know what. I feel like a Leo is ascend ascending. Growing, expanding, wealth, fortune. This, this is the Leo. This Leo gonna bring you your, your fortune, your fame. You hear me? Well, somebody wanted fortune and fame, 
off of this Leo. Somebody want the power. You hear me? But I'm getting like the Leo got the power. Whoever the Leo is, you hear me? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna end it right there, y'all. Y'all take it how it resonates with y'all. Mm hmm. And Leo can bring you some luck. Or Leo sees it. Take it how it resonates. Mm hmm. Put that on my mama. I'm telling you, your friend was obsessed with you. And your sexual energy or sexually, take it how it resonates. Whatever you had going on, but that's what I got for you guys. I'm in it right there, you guys. I'm gonna lay the life.